Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to fix this kind of error or some similar error that you may be getting on WhatsApp that you have gotten an unexpected error or it isn't responding. This is a common problem that a lot of people get, so I'm going to go through the necessary steps that you need to take to get rid of this error and fix it. So yeah guys, make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So guys, let's say you try to open up the official WhatsApp application and you keep getting this error. So guys, there is a couple of solutions that you can do. The first thing you want to do, you can try to do guys, go ahead and long hold the WhatsApp application and then you want to open up the AMP app info option right here. Click on app info guys and now you have two options that you can do. The first option is to go ahead and click on force stop guys and go ahead and force stop the application. Click on OK and then for stopping the application guys, go back and try opening up the WhatsApp application again and see if it will work. If it still doesn't work guys, then the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the app info option again. And here you want to go ahead and clear the storage and cache. So go, go ahead and open up storage and cache and then click on clear storage and then click on clear cache to clear both the storage and cache of the WhatsApp application and after that go ahead and try opening it up again. If it still doesn't work guys, even though this is going to fix the problem in 99% of usage, usages, then the last thing you can do the guys to get rid of the error is to go ahead to the Play Store and find the WhatsApp application and then go ahead and uninstall it. After uninstalling guys, just go ahead and install it again and log in to your phone number and after that the application should start up normally and see if it works. If this still doesn't work guys, just restart your mobile phone and restart it again and then the problem will be fixed. So guys, basically those are the solutions that you can try, so I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So guys, thank you for watching, take care and bye.